The UP Okta research team has expressed concerns anew over the increasing COVID-19 infections in Cebu City. Based on their observation, there's an upward trend in the average number of daily new cases in this city. It actually went up to 123 in the past seven days, which is 30% higher than the previous week. The attack rate or the number of positive individuals from 100,000 population is at around 11%, making the city a high-risk area. The health department confirmed that there is indeed an increasing number of cases in Cebu City. But Undersecretary Maria Rosario Verjera noted that it is still manageable due to moderate or only 42% hospitalization rate. Binabantayan po natin maigi. Atin din pong binibigyan ng guidance uh, through our one hospital command so that we can be able to decongest, we can able to prepare their hospitals if and when tumuloy-tuloy po ang pagtaas ng kaso. But the UP Okta warned that the hospital utilization rate may reach the critical level in two weeks if the trend continues. The group added that the situation remains to be a serious cause of concern following the detection of the UK variant. Recall that two of the eight additional UK variant cases in the country are residents of Talisay and Liloan, Cebu. But the DOH explained that the spike in cases was possibly caused by other factors. Hindi ho natin masasabi na variant lang ang cause, no? It might be uh, uh, additional or uh, naka-aggravate, no? Maari, no? Nakasama siya sa factors. But it is not the only cause of these numbers increasing in Cebu. The agency has already sought help from the Investigation Bureau to locate a UK variant patient who reportedly left the country. Meanwhile, former NTF advisor Anthony Liachon is calling for a travel ban in South Africa due to another variant. The only way we can address it while the global experts are trying to uh, figure out the situation is to have a travel uh, ban imposed on uh, South Africa. Yan muna ang dapat natin gawin kasi the ordinary old Wuhan strain which is we have here in the country and B117 kaya yan ng, ng Astra. But the DOH is not keen on implementing the restriction citing the interzonal characteristic of the variant. Nakita ng ating gobyerno na hindi na po rasyonal para ipagpatuloy pa ang restrictions ng borders natin sa ngayon. We would just like to have that safeguard na strong po ang pagpapatupad natin nitong ating mga protocols. For News 5, Greg Gregorio, We Are One News.